welcome to the July 13th um, Masters Power Party member meeting. Um, I'm James O'Keefe. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Steve Revelak, Arlington. Excellent. Um, okay, so here's the agenda. Um, is there anything we should add to it? Uh, nothing to add. Okay, great. So, um, nothing much to report. Have gotten some email updates out and blog posts telling people about upcoming hearings. Um, uh, the pirate conference on the 22nd, uh, a week from Saturday in Somerville, uh, and, and other stuff like that. Um, do you have any reports? Uh, nothing to report. Excellent. Okay, fine. So decisions, endorsements, uh, the Pfeiffer's Day event, um, had been rained out and they moved it to Saturday, September 2nd. Um, so that is a bit over eight or nine weeks away. Um, they would like to know if we wanted to have our table again. And that's Labor Day weekend. So what do you think? Where is this healthy? It's in Boxborough. That's correct. Boxborough Pfeiffer's Day. I am on the fence <laughs> because it's it's Labor Day. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand that. Although I feel like there'll probably be a fair number of people, so I think it it could potentially be a good um, it could be a good opportunity. But yeah, getting volunteers to do it. Um, I mean, I could probably plan to be there the whole day. I would just prefer not to be there the whole day alone. So, um, no, I, I'm willing to, I'm tentatively willing to go up with you. Okay. Well, why don't we do that? And we'll see about turning people out, probably, you know, emailing folks, telling them it's there and then following up with calls for people in the area, um, and see if we can turn some folks out who will be there. Let me uh, let me start with the all important first step of writing it down in my calendar so I don't forget this. <laughs> a, always a good first step. Yes, he's writing it down so stuff gets real. <laughs> and so this weekend, I'll I'll update the various forms and change the dates, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll tomorrow I'll email them um, about it in the next. Email update will mention it. That oh, sounds good. Okay. Is it, wasn't Spoon originally from Boxborough? Wasn't who? Spoon. I don't know. Okay. Just curious. Okay. All right. So um, we were notified by our friends at warrantless.org, um, a.k.a. Digital Fourth. Um that of Massachusetts, that there are various hearings that were today um, or are coming up. And um, let's see. So one that was today um, is with the Joint Committee on Advanced Information Technology, the Internet and Cybersecurity. And there were a lot of... Um, yeah, there's a lot of bills there um, related to, you know, uh, blockchain technology, AI, uh, cyber incident response, but also like net neutrality and funding community broadband and stuff like that. So, um, and then the other one, so, and that... Um, people have until, uh, it says Friday, July 22nd, but the 22nd is a Saturday. So I expect that would be Friday, July 21st is when written test testimony can be submitted. 
uh, by 5 p.m. to christopher.smith at mahouse.gov. Um, and then the Joint Committee on the Judiciary um, has various bills in regards to civil asset forfeiture um, and some other stuff. I, mean, I think there was one that one thing uh, which was towards the end uh, act relative to direct food donations. Anyways, um, there was one about like increasing the fine. If your kid doesn't go to school, it's currently up to $20 and changing it to up to $50 for every day, which, you know, seemed like yet another tax on the poor. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's just like not the right way of going about it. Uh, interestingly enough, by Tacky Chan, um, who also uh, will go down in infamy as the person who put forward the bill um, to make the Hollywood tax break uh, not time limited, but in perpetuity. So every year we lose between 40 and and a hundred million dollars to Hollywood. Great. Um, anyway, so these are the hearings that are coming up. I'm, it's not clear when the written testimony for the second, the judiciary hearing is. The hearing itself is Tuesday, uh, which I believe is July 18th. Um, so looking over the bills, um, so why don't we look at the Actually, just from them, I guess, are there any bills we want to specifically uh, support, I guess? So I haven't had a chance to read through any of these, so I okay. can't, I could sit, there are a few that I'm interested in reading through, but, um, you know, the, the list of ones, what, the ones for the ones for food donations seemed interesting. The ones about civil forfeiture. Oh, what's this? An act to promote to establish individual standing. Which one is that? H H H eighteen sixteen. Let me um pull that up. Here. So it looks like it's increasing the size, the pool, the an individual's ability to sue for environmental damages. Although it's there's a lot more of chapter 30 that I'd have to read to under, to fully understand what section 60A is doing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's, that's a problem with these things. They never like, it's not like the, the laws are in GitHub and then you can do like, okay, this bill changes that. So now we can look at the edits within the context of it. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, we should probably just do. Well, there's a lot of bills. Um, all right, well, why don't we do, I, I know there's some of them that I've been thinking of looking over. Uh, why don't we, if there's something you see that you, we, why don't we discuss it on the activists at masspirates.org list and we can just share ideas and put something together such that we can have at least written testimony for as many of these things by, you know, Tuesday. Does that seem reasonable? Seems reasonable. All right. 
Uh, and for those of you, uh, I will go and upload this uh, by Friday, and I'll include links to these. So if folks want to go look at the bills, you can always either join the activist list, which I'll also link to, or you can send an email at info at masspirates.org and tell us what you think. All right. So next up, uh, neither of our U.S. Pirate Party representatives are here, so no U.S. Pirate Party issues. Uh, Instagram threads, so yeah, um, we've been banned from Instagram. <laughs> I sent out email to the list to the activist list, but when when threads took off, mm -hmm. such for whatever values of took off it is, um, I said, oh yeah, we should probably go create something at least, if only as like capture the namespace, and um, so to get th to, to create a threads account, you first have to create an Instagram account. So create an Instagram account as mass pirates and I was kind of amazed no one had grabbed that not like the Massachusetts Pirates football team um but whatever uh and then grabbed it grabbed created a threads account and then within like days they were like hey you don't look Instagram was like you don't look legit Send here's a code. Send us the picture of yourself holding up a piece of paper. Literally, I'm like, wait, you want me to hold up a piece of paper with this information on it? On uh, <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed kind of like maybe I should have handwritten the paper because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I, I followed their instructions and and uploaded it. You know, like here I am. I'm not mass pirates. Massachusetts Pirate Party, I am the representative as chair. And they were like, oh no, that's not good enough. Ban. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, tried to reach out to them through Twitter and email. And uh, yeah, it's not going anywhere. And once, once they ban you, uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. So yeah, I don't think we're going to get a Threads account anytime soon. I'm more amused than anything else, but uh, well, you know. I mean, it. Uh, this sounds kind of like my, you know, 21 steps to open a Facebook account from a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you didn't even want to do it. You just needed it to like manage someone's like someone's group. Yeah, yeah, and. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I'm just, I, you know, I, I thought it's like you provide the information to them and, you know, I pointed out, oh, well, there's a Demo there's a mass Dems and a mass GOP and a Libertarian Party and a Green Rainbow Party. They all have Instagram accounts and they're like, no, you, you guys look really bad. <laughs> we, you don't, you don't look legitimate at all. So, no. So anyways. I mean, the, at the very least they could have done was say, here's this big random string of stuff. Go put it in this location on your website. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that would have been a much better test. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I think that's what Google does. Isn't that what Google does? Well, you have to go, if, if you want to do their add sense or whatever you have yeah to something like that string. yeah uh, I just uh, it's, I mean that's that's the problem with all these technologies these these you have some giant company like Facebook they hire the cheapest people they can find they give them a workload that is way too onerous too too much they have like seconds to go through does this look legit or not and then then the decisions are final <laughs> it's like... yeah. 
Well, that that's not a technology per problem. That's a people problem. That's a process problem. <laughs> Well, what was funny was even the email, like the, the email saying, hey, your information wasn't sufficient, not the official one, but like from the person who reviewed it, didn't even have a subject. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, <laughs> wait, in, Facebook doesn't have some form that you fill out and then it like sends you a, sorry, you didn't provide sufficient information for this. Or whatever, whatever they define, they don't tell you what's sufficient information. It's just like you didn't. I mean, it is very likely subbed out to. Um, yeah, I mean, it, this could very well be subbed out to offshore workers in another country right. that are getting paid like a pittance <laughs> compared to what Facebook makes, or by by the verification. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember like, I, you know, I, there was a moment in my past life when I, when I created an Instagram account and it wasn't my initials or anything. It was just something I made up and no one said a thing about it. There was no, oh, prove you are who you are. <laughs> now I know that was like, I don't know, like a year or two ago, but really things have changed. It's like. You have pirate. There must be a you have. There must be now a you have pirate in you. So automatically we're going to block you or something like that. All the, the German <laughs> pirates have their own accounts. So I, who knows? We just we just look shifty. That must be it. All right. So uh, projects. Um, we've got the twenty. The July. Tw oh shoot! That still says twenty third. What the. Sorry, the July 22nd conference. Um, let me go edit that. Oops. I don't think I fully. Have you been editing the thing or not? The summary? Uh, the summary, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, 20 seconds. I should do this too. All right. Um, okay, so no one has suggested uh, an agenda. So, what do we want to do? For, we've got functionally, you know, two hours. What do we want to do for the agenda? You know, like half an hour for people to show up and introductions and things like that. Yeah. Um, we can talk, we could have, we could have, We could have some time about talking about running. We could have an open period and, or we could just, you know, leave it open, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, running for office is, is typically a good pres is typically a good topic to present. How about Bill Bonanza? <laughs> go through, go like have have a list of bills and just kind of review them and be like. Actually, so say? when, so when was the date for? When is the date for uh, comments on these uh, the stuff in the legislature? So the ju judiciary, it's not clear. Um, they don't say, so it's implied that it's due that Tuesday. I'll 